This is how you add an Android app to App Circle. First, go to your Build tab and tap Add New. And then from the Target Operating System, select Android. And from the platform, select Java and Kotlin since this is a native Android app. So I'll just give this a name. And then hit Save. Once it's saved, I can go into Detail to connect a repository. For repositories, we have a variety of options from GitLab, GitHub, Bitbucket, and you can also connect a private repo via, via SSH, and also you can connect a public repository as well. We also support self-hosted GitLab and self-hosted Bitbucket versions. I'll just choose GitHub since my code is on GitHub. After I give access on GitHub, AppCircle will show me a list of repositories that I've given access to. Here's a list of repos that I've given access to, and I'll pick the Android one and hit save. And now AppCircle will show me all the branches in my repo and all the commits in those branches. So I'll just create a build from the master branch, but I can just pick any other one. And I need to configure this branch first in order to get AppCircle to build it. So when I tap config, I do get a form. And in here, actually it's asking me which module to build and which variant to build. And also I can pick an output type. And the set commit build status means that it will also give a check mark when the build is complete uh, on GitHub. But to make things easier, AppCircle has this fetch details function. And when I tap this, it will actually check my repo and try to fill out all the details in this form. Now AppCircle has checked my repository and filled these fields for me. So there's only one module inside the app. And there are also two variants, for one for debug and one for release. And I can type something manually in here as well. So these are not just set in stone. And we also have these three more tabs here, one for code signing. This will let me upload a key store file and from here I can sign my application. And also I can distribute my app to testers by using AppCircle's own distribution system. And we can also upload the app to Google Play Store as well. And the fourth tab is for the environment variables, which we will have separate videos on each of these tabs afterwards. Since I've configured everything here, I can just go back and check my workflows. So workflows are actually steps to take while building your app. It's like a recipe and we give you two default workflows, one for push and one for pull requests. Let's just check these in detail. So this is the default workflow. It's pretty straightforward. And in here, we do have an Android build and Android sign. So inside the Android build, you can see different parameters that you can change. These are all set up uh, for default for you so it will work out of the box and also in the Android sign I really want to mention that if you're using v2 sign scheme then you have to set this to true so this is something to look out for but this configuration is fine but in order to add steps modify them or delete them you can just tap edit workflow and then you can just drag and drop new steps here uh, and modify the existing ones you can remove some of them and we have a wide variety of steps for you to drag and drop uh, but this workflow is fine and I will just proceed with this so let's go back and tap build it will ask me to select a workflow I will choose the push workflow and then start a build so this is a manual build and my build is about to start So it started, but I can just close this tab. And I really want to mention about triggers. So the third thing that I want to mention after configuration and workflows is triggers. So if you want to do these builds automatically, you need to add some triggers to App Circle. So we have three types of triggers. One of them is for every time some commits, something is pushed to some branch, you can define which branch you want to be triggered. And the second one is every time a merge request or a pull request is created. And the third one is whenever a tag is being pushed to any branch. So we will have a separate video on triggers in detail, explaining every case. Uh, so make sure to check that as well. But let's just go back and check our build status. So it's running Android build right now. And in, in a few minutes, we will have the result. And the build is complete. So this is how you add an Android app to AppCircle. See you on the next videos.